Hi, my name is Crystal Eliezer. I'm the third child of Jerry and Mary who are celebrating their uh, 50th wedding anniversary. This is the third part of my parents' journey together with God. From the far and wide expanse of the Sulu Archipelago, which was my dad's mission district in 1963 to 1966, he and his growing family, without me and my brother Ming yet, were moved to Manila for their upgrading privilege for two years. Dad enrolled at Philippine Union College Graduate School for his MA in Theology, while my mom went to the University of the Philippines for her Masteral Studies in Nursing. Before the upgrading was over, I was born in the Manila Sanitarium and Hospital, now Manila Adventist Medical Center. My parents gave me a name, Crisel, after Chris P. Sorensen, then President of the Far Eastern Division, and Elwood Sherard, then the Business Manager of PUC. When we informed them about this, Elder Sorensen commented, it should have been no more, meaning no more, or that's enough. Towards the end of the schooling, Dad was instructed to attend a special course on hospital chaplaincy at St. Luke's Medical Center in nearby Quezon City. Dad replied by requesting the South Philippine Union Conference President to send our family back to, to Sulu instead of serving as chaplain of Mindanao Sanitarium and Hospital in Iligan City. He said, my master's thesis is all about converting Muslims to Adventism. I want to add more baptisms to our growing company there. The chaplaincy is a dumping place for ineffective retire, retired sickly workers. But I'm young and challenged to work in difficult areas like Sulu. Dad was told by the union conference secretary that he can apply his thesis for weaning Muslims in the hospital settings for after all, about 30% of the patients there were Muslims from Lanao del Norte. And that my dad could innovate on the chaplaincy functions like evangelistic meetings and Bible studies among relatives of patients in their homes. Finally, after informing my dad that my mom was assigned as director of nursing service in order to prepare the hospital to be the training center of clinical students from Mountain View College School of Nursing. Dad accepted his role as a chaplain. Throughout the six years in Mindanao Sanitarium and Hospital, Dad and Mom enjoyed their ministry. Mom had a teaching part-time job in the School of Nursing, and Dad had the opportunity to function on top of his main chaplaincy work. The following, hospital PR man, hospital church pastor, classroom teacher, teacher for nursing students, evangelist and Bible worker. The, the, the allowed innovations resulted in two church plants in the neighboring communities, but after six years, dad and mom felt that it was time to move, primarily for the education needs of their children. Our prayers were answered when early one morning in 1974, the president of Mountain View College knocked at our door and vowed that he would not sit down until my parents said yes to his urgent call. I need you to be my Dean of Students for MVC. After a brief conversation with our family and a prayer of thanks, mom and dad got out and asked the visitor to sit down. The next day, dad started his first day of work in an educational institution. Our family praised the Lord for his guidance and leadings. We stayed and served MVC for 11 years, where all of us finished elementary and high school. June and Brenda finished college there, but me and I completed our college work in AUP. We all praised God for all the blessings out of the ministry and dedication of our parents. After serving four years in MVC, Dad was assigned a three-year upgrading leave by his board. He was sent to Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan to pursue a doctoral program in educational management. In 1980, Dad invited Pastor Paterno Diaz, President of South Philippine Union Conference and Chairman of MVC Board of Trustees to assist him in the hooding ceremony. Our family extolled the master teacher for more empowerment to help finish God's work through our Adventist schools. To Dad and Mom, happy 50th golden wedding anniversary.